really appreciate um, the governor's ideas because he's he's really building off what they started in 2023. So I was really happy to see that. They've done a lot of work in 2023 to start some of these changes that need to be made to um, really support early childhood education. Jenna Anderson, the Thrive by Five Early Childhood Coalition Coordinator in Noble and LaGrange counties, says that she is thrilled to see that in the agenda, it is looking to expand the workforce. That is huge in order to making sure that we can have sustainable quality child care, because that's one of the big things um, that's preventing us from having the child care that's necessary right now is the staffing. So there's a lot of turnover. Um, our, our facilities can't hire staff. And that's due to a lot of different reasons that I think he's addressing in this. In the next level agenda, the governor seeks to reduce the minimum caregiver age for infant and toddler rooms from 21 to 18 and to lower the minimum supervised caregiver age for school age classrooms from 18 to 16. Holcomb also looks to inform ongoing efforts to improve salaries for early childhood educators by conducting a statewide employee compensation study. That is huge. This is really where a lot of our programs are struggling. We have programs that pay their staff as little as 10 to $11 an hour. Um, you know, those are poverty level wages. So how can you hire and retain staff when you're paying that little amount? So doing that study um, to look at what compensation is and what maybe what it should be will help us to grow that workforce, which is really critical to making sure our child care is sustainable.